Hey, what's up? It's Coach David. Welcome back to my channel. If you're new, welcome for the first time. And of course, welcome back if you are not new. So today we're talking about Neville Goddard's most overlooked advice quote um, that causes major manifestation issues in my opinion. This is something that I have observed for years in the Neville community's law of attraction in general law of assumption, manifestation, all the same thing ultimately beyond the language, though I know some people definitely prefer law of assumption over law of attraction language and I can see why. I've talked about that as well, but ultimately it's all the same thing. I believe this is what causes a lot of people not to literally not to succeed, especially on what is most important to them. So a little bit of a newer style video actually inspired by a guy named Nicholas who is also a coach, although he's a specifically a manifestation coach, I believe. I don't consider myself a manifestation coach per se, but I will use whatever it takes to help myself and my clients create the life they want. I come from the life coach, confident success, success coach angle, having used both traditional psychology and some clients who are interested in manifestation, of course, we discuss and coach around that. But it's all about getting the result. That's all I care about. And Neville was a master at it. And that's why we talk about Neville. Okay. That's why I bring it up. Uh, Neville's awesome. So is Joseph Murphy. Okay. I'm going to make some videos on him as well. But without further ado, let's get into this quote. And uh, let me just switch over to it here. So you can see it in my Kindle version. And I put it on a nice slide as well. So the quote is this. The creative process begins with an idea. And it, it cycle runs its course as a feeling and ends in a volition to act okay so let me get the nice version up here i wanted you to see it in the actual book feeling is a secret the creative process begins with an idea and its cycle runs its course as a feeling and ends in a volition to act hint 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 in italics not so much in hint right of a hint so what we have here is volition means will okay that that's exactly what the word means. So what Neville is saying here is that inspiration, that feeling to take action upon the manifestation that we are focusing on, that we are feeling and living in the end, right? And really doing that, right? Practicing that, visualizing and feeling. If you want to affirm it, it doesn't matter, right? Neville is all about living in the end as the famous Barbados story goes and what Abdullah taught him. Abdul is Neville's teacher and that's where he really got and had that huge insight and then practiced and lived in the end as if he was in Barbados, right? The, the most popular Neville story manifestation lesson story ever. If you haven't caught on by now, what the problem is, is that many people believe that they only should visualize and feel and then they don't have to do anything to get what they want. Okay. Now, this is a very fine point. Let me say this. Because one can actually go too far either way, right? You could go too far and I always got to act, which is the overworking, overachieving, been there, done that way too much. I'm like a recovering overachiever, overactor, right? That's why I love this stuff so much. But there's the other side of when somebody comes across this information. And because Neville talks so heavily about feeling it and imaginal facts become acts, and 4D over 3D, right? The imagination is 4D and that's what creates and then it shapes into the 3D, but it's really about living in that 4D until it turns into 3D. What can easily get overlooked? And this quote is only on page, look at this, page six <laughs> in Feeling is a Secret. His most widely known, most popular work, he says it up front, not even six pages in, and it's a short book, but only, you know, six pages in and it's probably more like one, on page one because the pages are so short <laughs> and it's a short book really maybe two or something he talks about action of will to act that you are driven to act take action now the difference here is is not just take action okay now i see it and i gotta take any action massive action and all that you may need to take massive action but you'll be inspired to the feeling inspires you to right the feeling of expansion, of openness, of which typically goes with that feeling of abundance and feeling good and knowing that, oh, wow, I really want to do this. And maybe there was resistance before and you didn't because you weren't focusing on living in the end, feeling it real, as another YouTuber has said. And once you do that enough and you handle the blocks, there'll be another video on how to do that, how we do that. That's a different topic. But getting this and then you're like really inspired and lit up. Now, 
here's the thing. Some things may come to you along the way that you may have not to act or do anything, but you'll know by the feeling, right? The feeling tells you whether to act or not to act. But what happens is people are like, okay, I'll feel it. I'll feel it. Feel it. I keep feeling it feeling it. Why is it not coming? It should just come. You're, you're actually not listening to the feeling because the feeling is a secret. The feeling tells you what to do, whether to act or not to act in the domain of action, right? Um, and here's the thing is when this type of action that he's talking about, which I would call inspired action, doesn't feel like work. It even may not feel like action when you're taking it. It's sort of like when you're in that real flow state, or it is exactly that, that you will just be like, get inspired to, oh, get up. All of a sudden you find yourself getting a drink of water and then you're sending that text, making that phone call, walking out the door, whatever, right? And maybe moments before you didn't feel like doing anything in regards to your goal or your vision. Now, all of a sudden you're paying attention to that feeling and you've already done the work of imagining and you continue to do it daily repetition, right? We could talk about neuro neuroscience and why that's important from a brain angle, but we're not doing the brain angle here. So moments before you might not have felt like acting at all and you surrender, let go, let God, and you've already done your creation. And now all of a sudden that feeling and that volition to act, that drive, that will pops up, but you're not forcing it. You're driven to, you're inspired to from the inside out, right? And traditional success would say, for the most part, take action, any action. Action is better than non-action. And we know that's not true. We also know that no action at all is not true either. And it's very funny it's how it skews both ways, right? Traditional success psychology, more Tony Robbins-like, people like Gary Vaynerchuk in the entrepreneurial space, Grant Cardone. It's go, 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 <laughs> hustle culture, right? And on the other side, manifestation culture, we have, uh, you know, don't do anything, be ultra lazy. And you can be ultra lazy actually depending like, but to me, ultra lazy means it doesn't feel like work, right? Because, because I want to show you something <laughs> right in front of you. The example, all those manifestation coaches you follow on YouTube, how many videos have they made? Did those videos make themselves or did those coaches, Hmm, take some action and make those videos effing happen. Now they were inspired to most of them. I believe some of the coaches are fakers and they probably don't uh, practice the law as much as they claim to. And they actually did force the action. I've made plenty of forced action videos in the past before I came across what I call conscious manifestation as a, as a serious practice. One of the practices I do, not the only thing. And as I practice it more, I, I shy away from forcing action knowing that I will need to take action most likely on something. For instance, the video doesn't poof, create itself out of nowhere, this video, but I can tell you for a fact that this morning I was, I have so many video topics I could make videos on, right? Because on this channel, I help with this stuff. I still help people with social anxiety, which is the foundation of this channel years and years ago and social confidence. I help people with anxiety in general and stress and overcoming self doubt and fear and imposter syndrome, people that may not be coming from a manifestation angle. And because I like love manifestation and it's greatly impacted me and helped me along with spirituality in general and non dualism and all kinds of things and neuroscience. I talk about all these things, right? And I sort of use whatever's at hand, but the, on the, from the manifestation angle and especially the Neville angle here and talking about volition to act, which would be akin to flow states in more in success psychology, getting into that flow state, then this video was the one I wanted to make. I have a list of videos. Well, how did I sort it? Well, I felt into it and went ding, 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 ding. That volition to act was willing up. So first of all, I had a volition to make a video and also I didn't put it on the schedule. Oh, well, I, let's say I had a, I had a feeling that I knew and I wanted to make videos today and I had some Neville topics. I have definitely have social anxiety videos that I want to make and I can feel that feeling. I want to make them, but I'm not sure which order. So I wake up and I go, I feel like making a video. I just feel the feeling. 
And so I set all this stuff up and I, and I also want to make it in this style because I've never made it in this style. This is my first one. This may not come out in the same order of the videos, but this is the first one I've made. It might be the second or third that I put up because that'll be a different feeling I follow, right? Because I'm practicing here what Neville is saying. And I'm doing visualizations on growing my YouTube channel and helping people through coaching and other avenues that I have going on, right? But I'm in, in practice of this. I was inspired to sit down. I'm like, there's a video on revision that I have a subscriber uh, reach out, had questions on I'm going to make. There's a video overall on law of assumption and some major keys to it. There's a video on Joseph Murphy I want to make, right? I have in my little lists and spreadsheets. And those are all done because I was inspired to make it on the list. So every everything is like a stepping stone towards my overall vision of growing the YouTube channel helping more people in general, helping people with coaching, right? With clients and such. And that, that's my, that's my vision. That's my imagineering, my imagination in the 4d, right? All leading to this moment, to this video that's being created right now. You see that, which I'm taking action. I'm, but I can tell you right now, as I'm talking, this is like effortless. This is fun. This gives me joy. This, this is very, I love it. Now I love this making videos and helping and teaching even before I practice constant manifestation, but that is a manifestation. That's me naturally following that before I really seriously practiced, you know, manifestation. I heard first time, of course, I was introduced to manifestation was in 2006. The secret came out. Everybody's like, ah. we all started practicing it. Parking spaces, coffee, the easy stuff. And then we started practicing the harder stuff and go, Hmm. Not as easy as the movie may indicate. <laughs> and Neville is a wonderful, inspiring teacher. Um, he's heavy on the inspiring side. Sometimes the instruction side is not his strength because he's so inspirational and sort of motivational that this, this quote right here gets overlooked. This is huge, guys and gals and others, depending on your, your orientation. Um, this is massive right here, but he doesn't talk about this a lot. <laughs> now, I also have a feeling that back then people sort of got this at the gist of it, or maybe in his public talks in other ones, he addressed it more or whatever. I don't know, but a lot of his writings are more, of course, about the imagining and such. And I think that because science and materialism, meaning material physical reality is such a dominant paradigm. I, well, for sure, uh, science and materialism gets in the way of manifesting in general. So the creative process, this is amazing. This, this quote has three steps in it, three key steps. One, the creative process begins with an idea and actually we can make it four steps, which is that inspiration of what you want to create in your life. You want to create money, a business, a better career, a relationship, better health, whatever it is that desire comes up. And now that's the beginning of the creative process, which now is to live in the end affirm it, visualize it, whatever track you want to take, whatever technique, technique doesn't matter here. And that's sort of the second step. The first step happens naturally. The second step, the third step is to generate and watch for the feeling. And the fourth step is to act. Okay. To act when called to now to not act is sort of an action in and of itself to wait more. Right. And then, cause what can happen is we can act and act and act. And we're so focused on acting that there's an opportunity that just presents itself that we ignore text message comes in some video that pops on our screen. We're like, ah, because we're not following that feeling that helps guide us to make the manifestation more effortless and more easy. Okay. So that's a key point too. But most people, right? Anybody that has a problem with action also might have a sort of belief system that they shouldn't have to act and that, that it should just whatever. But this is what the master is saying. Now, do I believe that the higher that the better we get at creating in 40 and the higher level of mind and consciousness that the less that we have to act? Yeah, I do. Actually, <laughs> there's a story by uh, in the book Autobiography of a Yogi by Yogananda. It's called Two Boys from Brindabane or Brindabane. It's got a very strange name. And in it. Young Yogananda and his brother or cousin or good friend go on this journey and it's a, it's a, it's like a day or two of manifestation when they have no money and no nothing. And Yogananda has this pure belief that the, everything will sort out and they're traveling from this city to this city with no money and no money to eat, no money to pay for a train ticket. And it all happens effortlessly. And Yogananda just knows it can happen. Now he's, he's a high level yogi and, and consciousness, you know, spiritual master and a young one, 
a budding one, but he has that belief power like Neville talks. It's no different, right? This is, you know, and so my point is, is that there's a lot of that story when you read it that his friend, brother, cousin, whoever, you know, his companion is freaking out. Oh my gosh, how are we going to do it? Yogananda's like, don't worry about it. It's not an issue. Watch, watch what's going to happen. This is, it's all going to work out. We're going to create this. We're going to get food. We're going to, and it just happens effortlessly because Yogananda holds the belief and he's, you know, his companion's freaking out. Oh my gosh. Wow. He's like, see how normal it is. Of course this is going to happen. And that's the same disposition we need when we're manifesting. I'm going to finish up the video here. Please like subscribe. Always love to hear from you in the comment. It helps send out to other people who would find use for this. Cause here we talk about manifestation from what really works from the fundamentals and principles, not just techniques, right? I'm not going to tell you the affirmations work for everybody or visualization. It depends on the person and what we can make work and practice. The fundamentals matter most. Okay. Like with anything, when we're wanting to create success or manifest success. Okay. So always good to see you. Also, I will have a link in the pinned comment to my reality shifting training, some other trainings as well. And until next video, we're complete. See ya.